I've seen several videos lately talking about the TV license and various different apps that are coming out to give quote unquote free TV. So I thought I would do a response to this plus in response to other videos that I've seen and other comments and discussions that I've seen where someone has invited TV licensing inspectors into the property to prove that they don't have a TV or a need for a TV license. But I'm going to cover both of those because there's a danger with especially the second one and a misunderstanding with the first. So moving to the first, first of all, these apps that purport to give you free TV, if it is live TV from a recognized TV broadcasting company, then you still need a TV license, even though the app might describe it as free TV. For example, some of the manufacturers have decided to put their app for free on new devices. In fact, some people complain that this is pre-installed when you get the TV delivered to you because the app is there. In some cases, there's nothing you can do about it. You can't remove it. You can't deactivate it. So technically speaking, it is capable of receiving that live TV signal. However, the law requires that if you watch or record live TV, or it's installed for that purpose, or you use BBC iPlayer, then you need a TV license. So we're in a very difficult position here with these apps that are being pre-installed, which ostensibly allow you to watch live TV right out of the box, and probably not by connecting any kind of TV aerial whatsoever, because it's all digital, obviously, and coming through your Wi-Fi, that means that as installed, the TV allows you to watch the TV broadcasting signals. However, I would argue that watching and recording live TV or installing it for that purpose cannot be proven by the mere presence of an app on that TV. Because if you're installing the TV for a different purpose, or you're not watching live TV, or you're not recording live TV, and you're not using BBC iPlayer, then you've obviously installed it for a different purpose, be that DVDs, Netflix, and streaming other kind of services, or whatever that might be. If it's none of the reasons that you need the TV license for, then I would happily argue in court that you don't need to pay for the TV license, regardless of this app being present. But the conclusion for this first bit and these apps to tell you that you get free TV is to be careful that you don't get led to believe that it is free TV wholesale and you don't need to pay for a TV license because that would not be true. As I said, the bottom line is if you watch or record live TV or use BBC iPlayer or you've installed it for that purpose as one of the purposes for installing the TV, then you need to pay for the TV license. But then I would come on to the second portion of this video, which is where people are inviting these inspectors into the property to say, see, we don't have a TV. And many of these people generally don't have a TV. However, if you have one of these or a laptop or something else that is capable of receiving live TV, which I would argue practically every device that looks anything like this is capable of doing because you can go on YouTube and watch live TV companies broadcasting on YouTube, then technically speaking, you still need a TV license if you're watching a live broadcast from one of those companies. Now, again, many people have argued that they delay it for five minutes or half an hour. They put it on pause and then they continue it later. Therefore, it's not live. That's not how the court is going to see it, and that's not how it's viewed in the legislation. If it is live or near live, which includes the one hour delayed programs, so plus one channels, they are still considered to be a live broadcast. Even if it's old material that is being rebroadcast, the broadcast doesn't apply to the meaning of the original program. The original program might have been created 20 or 30 years ago. If it's being broadcast today from somewhere else to your device, whatever that device might be, then it's a live broadcast. Whether you're watching it on an app, whether you're watching it live on YouTube, if it is a live broadcast, and even if it's not on a TV, on any other device, you still will need a TV license. So my warning to you is if you invite these officers into your home and say, see, look, there's no TV in here, but they say, but you have a phone and you say, yes, of course I have a phone, then they may well use this as evidence to get a warrant to search your home. And the, the search will be much more than just having them invited in to have a quick look around. You are required 
if they get a warrant to provide cooperation and it's a separate offence if you fail to assist in the search under a warrant. But they're only going to get that warrant with some kind of evidence. But if they come into your property and they say, I saw devices in there that could receive TV, therefore we want a search warrant for this property, they're likely to get it. And then if they come in with a search warrant, then you have to help by opening up your phone and showing them the apps that are on your phone and going through potentially the history of those apps, whether you're logged in, signed in, and even on YouTube, whether you've got the search history or the watch history on YouTube of these live programs, they could then potentially with a search warrant force cooperation from you to look through that history. And if they find anything in there, then they're going to prosecute you. So my suggestion is, it's not advice, but my suggestion is don't let them in unless they have a search warrant, which in my view, they will struggle to get because if they don't have any evidence, they cannot simply go to a magistrate and say, we want a search warrant because they don't have a TV license. They can't just get it for the sake of it. They have to have evidence. There has to be a very good reason for a magistrate to issue that search warrant in the first place. And as I said, without evidence, that's going to be very difficult. But if you invite them in on the incorrect and mistaken belief that you've got no TV, therefore they you can't be prosecuted because you don't have a TV and you've only got these devices, that's not going to be the end of the matter. If they see one of these or any device that is capable of having an app on it, that is capable of receiving and watching live TV, or obviously one of these could have BBC iPlayer on it, mine doesn't, I don't watch BBC iPlayer, I don't watch TV, I don't watch any live or record live TV, I only ever watch Netflix and things like that. So. If I were to take my situation, I would not need a TV license because I don't do any of those things. I don't have time to do any of those things. If I get time, I'm here talking to you about different bits of law and helping you to understand law. So for that, I'd be really grateful if you smash that like button and subscribe and warn anybody that you know will fall for these kind of adverts and free apps and all of these misunderstandings that will possibly end up them being prosecuted and see themselves in court for a very stressful and unnecessarily unpleasant experience going to court being prosecuted for something that they may feel that they didn't do. So please share the word, share the video, make sure that no one you know falls for any of this because you are watching me to help you to understand law. And in the meantime, thank you for watching.